I was at the Junos right before COVID uh, became the thing that stopped, uh, you know, basically everything earlier in the year. I had some dates booked in Europe. I had some shows booked here in, in Ontario. And so all that was canceled. And I actually ended up moving back from Toronto to Ottawa um, just before the pandemic, which I think that maybe I'm psychic because uh, there's no place really I'd rather be, especially with all this going on. So for me, like at times it's felt really um, okay to just be home and to be getting a break. And, um, and then there's the other end of that that's been like deeply painful to be um, not playing shows and not seeing loved ones. And this is the longest period of time since I've been a young adult that I've stayed in one place and woken up in the same bed and, and, you know, not been on the go. And, and that's, on one hand, I've really, um, I really needed a break. That's true. Uh, at the beginning of this year, that was very clear. Um, and so that was, uh, a good thing for my physical and mental health and because I was touring so much before this year and traveling so much and and feeling really really burnt out I had this perception of myself that I you know was maybe not a people person you know I was around people all the time and moving all the time and, and pretty exhausted I guess so what what has actually surprised me is that once I'm sort of back at the like normal you know health level I, I am quite surprised how much I need other people and need that connection with friends and and need the connection with my band. Yeah, that that truthfully um, really surprised me because I started getting really, really sad like halfway through this whole thing so far, um, the current halfway. And uh, yeah, and I, I really need, um, I need to be on stage and, and playing music for people in that way. and, and connecting with people and um, it might, it sounds funny to say it out loud, but that surprised me how much it is sort of integral to my, my every health, spiritual, mental and uh, physical health. It feels so good, really. How is everyone doing here? He's sort of like weird. I'm hearing live music. I remember a few months ago, um, I was walking in uh, Hintonburg and I was walking by the Elmdale Tavern and I heard music coming out and I was like, oh, whoa, what is that? You know, it was after the first part of the pandemic and it was actually, it was Sean, it was Sean Tavernier. And I just, uh, I remember feeling so excited to hear someone playing a, an instrument and singing, so. And I feel that way now. And you're all being very polite here in the real life audience. Someone throw a glass. Turn to the water. And really, it's a song about coming home, returning home. That could be a place, that could be to yourself. And uh, to me, this song is both of those things. And it's about a place called Laxul in the far north of Ontario. 